Let's say you have an old laptop lying around your house somewhere. You probably think it is of no use anymore, right? You are wrong. Hi guys, this is Arnab from Digit and we will show you today how to salvage the hard drive from your old laptop and use it as an external hard disk. So before we start, here are the things you will need. A dead old laptop that you are free to experiment with, a good screwdriver with a lot of uh, heads as options, we have a really good one here, and uh, one enclosure for the hard drive which you are going to extract from your laptop, uh, the one we have here is from Transcend and the connecting cable for the same. Uh, make sure you have the right one for the hard disk type you have. So let's start with opening the laptop. The one we have here is an HCL Me L39 uh, and for that re uh, removing the hard drive requires me to remove this small enclosure. So for that, I'll uh, first remove these screws. So I think this is done. Just let me take this one out. And as you can see, the enclosure is off. And uh, we have a connector here, which we have to carefully remove. Make sure you know what you're doing at this step. Look at the port carefully, there is a connector here. Yeah. So here is the hard drive. Here is the hard drive from the laptop. And uh, we need to take this and shift it into this. So, but before we do that, make sure you clean your hard drive. Because uh, if the laptop is old, there is obviously going to be some significant amount of dust on it. Uh, we have a roughly clean hard drive here, which we can directly use. And uh, now we'll move on to the next step, which is shifting this into the enclosure. So I'll just keep it here. And uh, the enclosure we have here is a good one. So we basically have to just uh, remove the screws here. So this is removed. And the other one, it usually snaps into place uh, without these screws, but these screws are there for the safety so that it doesn't, you know, slide out. So now we, we first have to remove this metal enclosure from this hard drive. Uh, like as you can see, like if we don't remove it, it will somehow get stuck while you are trying to stuff it in and it will break. So we will have to remove this metal enclosure first. Now there are four screws here as you can see, one, two, three and four. So we will start. And now this, uh, like as you can see this Small enclosure is off, so there are a few more things that you need to do before we, you know, go on to the next step. Uh, first, remove uh, this top uh, case, which is for the port, the, uh, which is for the connectors. So, as you can see, we have a SATA uh, connector here. This one's for the power and uh, this one's for the data so uh, now uh, so so now we'll take the connector which uh, was actually a part of the enclosure and uh, and as you can see it uh, matches exactly and uh, we just have to fit it in properly now don't force it in you might uh, risk damaging your hard disk just check if the alignment is proper and snap it in As you can see, it's an exact fit. Now, uh, take the enclosure. Now, this part is really important. Uh, while you're sliding it in, there should be no obstructions. Otherwise, your hard disk might risk, you know, being damaged by force. I mean, you should mostly let it uh, go in by its own weight and it will fit exactly if there's nothing wrong in the way you did it. 
So as we can see, it's a exact fit. Now we just need to screw these screws back in. Uh, see if the screw holes have aligned properly. This is really important. Like, like otherwise, if you wrongly screw it in, I mean, it might get locked or you might risk damaging the screws itself. So there's, I think, a little amount of uh, uh, some sort of a soft sponge on this side, which makes sure that your hard drive does not hit the back end, which is causing this uh, head to be slightly raised. So, so make sure it's locked in and then insert the screws. Uh, if you're not sure about doing this with your hand, uh, feel free to use a screwdriver, which is what I think I'm going to do now. This one's done. Let's move on to the next one. Now this one's properly in place as well. So now we are ready to attach the cable. So as you can see, we showed you two different ports for power and uh, data. So the cable also looks like that. So, so do check the alignment before you plug it in. Yeah. So, so now the cable is all plugged in. Now we just have to go ahead and fire it up. So guys, now that the salvaging is done, all we need to do is to check that if this uh, external hard drive works as we expect it to. Let's plug it in. So as we can see that my laptop has uh, detected it as a, a new device and is probably installing the drivers for it. Uh, we'll probably have to give it a few moments. And uh, we can see So as we can see that my laptop has uh, uh, detected it as an external hard drive and uh, we can open it to see if the content is actually you know readable and I'll open the hard drive. This is the C drive from my previous hard disk. Let me close this and now let me open the other one. And yeah, this is the D drive. I, I had only two drives on my previous hard disk, so we can confirm that it is actually working. So there you go. We have my old laptop hard disk as an external hard drive right now. So if that process worked for you, thank us later. First like this video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more such videos. Thank you for watching. Hi guys, this is Mayul from Team Digit and in this video we'll be talking about the top 8 Google Chrome extensions you need to install to maximize your productivity and have a bit of fun. So let's get into it.